Hi guys, it's September 2024 and I have a jewelry showcase here for you. These were bought in a span of two weeks from the free market and um, uh, the thrift um, stores. So um, the total of all these is um, $151. And um, yeah, I got a lot of earrings. And of course, as you can see, the main feature here is um, the Chanel. The Chanel um, earrings, as you can see. The big stud vintage um, earrings. Um, so um, the first part of uh, the jewelry shopping was last week, which was in a new place for a flea market. Um, and I was not very, very much impressed. I didn't get a lot of stuff there. I only spent a total of $50. And then um, yesterday, I went to, to our local thrift shops, three different shops where I spent $100. So there you go. Now let's start off with um, the um, Chanel earrings. Okay. You can see these are vintage um, Chanel earrings and I saw them at the um, American Thrift Store yesterday. They were priced at um, $50. So I've done my um, due <laughs> diligence, <laughs> I've researched and um, some of the Chanel vintage earrings were not actually um, marked in the back or stamped in the back especially the early 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 ones and um, I've seen two items on eBay one was going for $800 and the other one was going for like um, less than $200 and they're exactly the same so um, when I saw these two yesterday I was like oh, $50 you know um, they do sell for like I don't know, 150 or 200 dollars um, but higher uh, when it comes to um, condition um, the better the condition of course the higher it is but yesterday I was just not very very um, positive about this but um, after I've spent a lot of time uh, researching about this particular style it comes in also, this is like um, gold tone, or they also have this in silver tone. And um, yeah, as you can see, it says um, the telephone number and everything. And um, the back is just a plain, plain nothing, just nothing. So, um, so I got this um, basically for $40 with, uh, with a discount or $35 because I got a 30% um, percent discount. So 50 less 30, I spent um, like 35 on these ones. So I'm like, um, whether or not they're, um, I am positive these are real Chanel vintage um, earrings because they said that not all vintage um, Chanel earrings are um, marked and um, well the reason why I got it is that I, I still can't um, forgive myself for letting it go last week at the uh, strange uh, flea market I saw a Chanel necklace um, it was vintage long pearl fall pearl necklace and I was just uh, looking at it and then somebody just asked the, the the vendor if she could look at it and then she just paid right away I was still looking at it but I was still I was trying to take a picture but then I was not sure about it but I was gonna get it anyway and she got got it for 20 bucks and I'm still beating myself <laughs> um, I'm still you know I could not uh, forgive myself for letting that go <laughs> a $20 um, long lariat or um, layered um, fall pearl Chanel necklace which uh, Chanel is they're very um, famous for <laughs> Um, okay, so $40, $35. Now, um, 
next would be I am so in love with um, uh, 80s earrings guys or huge button earrings I, I just I just love wearing them okay now yesterday um, the okay these were five dollars it's um, marked uh, Vogue it's marked a uh, Vogue Bijou so this looks like my Swarovski and five dollars from the this was the only um, the only uh, item that I bought from the church thrift shop which was five dollars very very nice it's clip-ons I could tolerate clip-ons now okay next is um, okay these are red rhinestones, clip-on earrings, and I just love the design. These were $5. Look at that. These were 5 I, I think I've done um, research, and I think this, this is G29, although I don't, I don't see anything, but it says G29, so... Um, Online it says G29 jewelry. I've, I've never come across that uh, brand. These were a dollar. Very, very nice. Um, look at that. The rose is like mesh. Mesh. Uh, it's pretty from the flea market. And so was the this a dollar um floral is this flower <laughs> floral yeah it has a trombone clasp not marked but uh, very nice and um from the flea market last week i got these for um two dollars and fifty they were marked five dollars but uh, you know I asked her um, if I could get a discount if I get um, if I could get them in half instead um, yeah some of her items were priced really really high especially their Monet she said uh, it was her husband who tried to do the research online Monet for thirty dollars I'm like no in fact I do have a lot of Monet so um, this one is an unmarked, but you can see that it's like enameling. It's really, really nice. It's um, unmarked. Uh, these are huge, guys. Very, very nice. I love them. They're comfy as well. Again, these were $2.50 as well. This is... <laughs> I have um, a similar large button earrings like this but it's a little bit uh, textured. This one is like shiny. Look at the my reflection there. Shiny, shiny gold tone. And so are these. I love these. $2.50 as well. Look at that. But the back is so flat and um, I just feel like this kind of back is a bit um, you know, um, not so classy <laughs> because it's just plain, plain metal there. And like these, these were chunky. And yeah, very nice. And the last pair that I bought from her, um, these were marked $8. Got them for four. Very nice. Look at that. These are norma jean earrings and they're just quality it's beautiful guys look at that the back i put the i put the thingy it's really really nice and it's marked here norma jean i love 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 these swirl okay yesterday from the red white and blue Thrift. These were marked eight dollars, but they were having fifty percent on one color, 
end. I really, really <laughs> tried to look for the for things that were 50%. I think I only got one. <laughs> so these were four dollars. So um these are still very expensive though, you know. And it's unmarked and yeah, very nice um enameling and it's hoop and it's uh, really really chunky. These were three dollars. Very very nice enameling as well. Unmarked. Oh dear. Why am I taking my time? <laughs> because there's not a lot this time. Okay. These were pro probably like five dollars. I like this. It looks like tiger eye. It's a tiger eye. And it has that Etruscan um, uh, or tribal thing going on as well. But sadly, this is uh, just pierced. So I don't know how old this is, guys, because it's just pierced. Not that, but it's nice. Look at that. You can see the thing for $5. Okay. All right. Here. Very nice, guys. These were $2.50 because they were like half off. I'm not sure if this was from the American thrift store or what. They do have a lot of um, statement earrings, but some of them were marked $30, $20. Are, are you kidding me? Okay. All right, so from the flea market, I also bought this last week for four or uh, two dollars and apparently this is like a mid-century mid-century and uh, i love it it's um it's i think they they just label it mid-century mcm something like that so look at that and and um it's really really nice love it and it's blue, blue, and um, pewter, nice. Got this for a dollar, and apparently this is this is like um, the chain for for a lampshade or something that you can attach. But what I'm gonna do is probably I'll snap. Oh no, it won't be nice if I snap it. It's not. I'll probably just remove this and turn this into a. Um, I'll turn this into a brooch or something or attach a veil to me to so this will be like a necklace because I just love it guys I don't know what to do with this yeah. it's really really pretty it's pretty though this was five dollars this is a copper apple apple copper um yeah sometimes i i like the patina on the copper i did soak my copper jewelry in um in ketchup and uh, yeah it did improve but then i don't know i think it's, it's better off if we just leave it like that with a little bit of patina these ones are were um uh, five dollars uh sarah coventry is it silver tone or gold tone i i think these are gold tone look at the <laughs> look at the yeah from the flea market i got four rings for two dollars and fifty each and this is such a lovely ring it's um like a, a modernist ring i think this is silver plated and um it's really really nice um though i smelled it right away what's that and it's really really nice guys i love it i love the patina on this one Another one, 
This one is um, just nothing. Yes. Three dollars and fifty. And this one, I think this may be my fourth, fourth one. Unca, uncas. And apparently, uncas, the mo their most popular product, um, I guess, was um, the the rings, especially the. Uh, cubic zirconia rings and they're re really really quality so really nice and then this one was two dollars and fifty I didn't realize it has uh, a lot of scratches and um, it's not marked it's not even kg or something but I just love the the is it art deco uh, style Look at that. It's, um, is it citrine or topaz? I love the, the Victorian style. <laughs> That's not Art Deco, it's like Victorian, whatever. Then yesterday I got these. They, it did not have any um, a prize. I just realized it's missing tiny pearls, but I do have some tiny pearls. So it was 99 cents. The clerk said, I can just give to you for 99 cents. She probably realized it was missing. These two, I didn't see that yesterday or maybe it was already, you know, really, really, that's really, really pretty. Okay, now from the flea market last week, these are $5 as well. I love it. Fish, this is quite heavy. So I don't know what kind of, um, it's not enameling, this is plastic, but it's heavy, guys. And then yesterday, I just knew there was something special going on about, you know, about <laughs> these earrings. These are like three ball cluster earrings. And uh, yeah, these were five, uh, five dollars. And the only thing here is that you have to keep this in because this slides. Um, so, uh, but of course, when you wear them, it's 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 impossible to look at that. See? Oh no! Oh, it's okay. I thought it slides, <laughs> it slips all the way through because this this ball fell yesterday and. Um, Yesterday, I did not see any markings, and then when I saw this, it, there's a marking that says Napier. So I thought these were just gold tone, because I love it, and these are marked Napier. Okay, this one oh, for $5. I love it, guys, but the turquoise beads, well, these beads keep falling, so... Uh, and when using, I always use the E6000 glue. The problem with the E6000 is that even if you put the cap back, it just dries up. And I have a lot of, of jewelry that needs, um, you know, I have to put the rhinestones back because they just, you know, fall. This is a long necklace unmarked. And uh, yeah, it's really, really, I would say it's really, really made because I don't see any um, glue or anything there. So yeah, so you can just see its quality. But then it's just this one because I dropped this yesterday. That's why I see it's, geez, okay. It's really, really pretty. And I think this is two inches long, it has blue. Uh, I'm not really, really impressed with the color combination. <laughs> I also have another long earring for a dollar from the flea market last week. I, for some reason, I'm liking things like this. Um, and uh, it, this is long. It's like brass. has tribal this tribal um, effect going on but 
I love these because these are very long earrings as well. I, I believe these are over two inches. Then these were a dollar. But this is, I, I think this was DIY because look at that. This one is so tiny. They, they improvised the, the original thing, the original clasp broke that's why they they just um improvised that but um you know it's good oh no and these are really really nice um gold tone earrings very nice and uh, it's perfect it's not signed or anything or five dollars okay all right i should not have i i have tons of bracelets guys and uh you know this one had a lot of i should not have bought these it's right probably like two dollars see it's oh, i don't know maybe i'll just give this away I'm just wasting my money on things sometimes that this is although this is okay it looks nice but then in the back Nobody looks at the back anyway, but um, clearly. And this one was also $2. And I don't know if that's dirt or something. I'm afraid to brush this because the rhinestones might fall fall off. And uh, that's okay. It's brass. And uh, yeah. It's a, bit, it's a little bit tight, but it's okay. It's more acceptable. And this one um, is a silver tone JJ. JJ brooches are, they really have a funky or very nice um, uh, theme. <laughs> um, sometimes they're in, I have a lot of JJs. I probably have six bears and um, telephones, t shirts, like, you know, the concept. Look at that, it's the, the, look at that. It's, it's just really, really, death. I also have a desk. So they have um, the out of this world um, designs and I love them. This one was a dollar and uh, the tip fell out. So I may have to, yeah. I'm doing some DIY uh, Christmas, um, wreaths with my um, jewelry and I might do that as well bummer these were four dollars last week but then as soon as I tried to put them on when we got home it just fell apart so I'm um, look at, these are really really huge huge um I love these earrings uh, I mean necklace look at that but then it broke some of the balls some of the beads are somewhere so i'm very very disappointed this was a waste of money i think i'll just put this in an in an in a christmas tree or something for a diy okay i'm not really good at beading guys you know i'm, I'm crap at you know this one looks like uh, i love it i saw this these were five dollars yesterday and it's like you know i like gripois or mogul style things and uh, although it's unsigned it has that you know it's unsigned and i just i just it's huge it's probably like two inches um, across and then and um yeah and over over an inch um, here I love it when I see these um, what do you call this are they I think cabochons of course and Rivoli style is that the Rivoli style could be but you know and now last but not the least um, okay so this is uh, like a festoon necklace 
is really really pretty it has those i guess this is acrylic this is just acrylic it looks like amber this is not so old it has a lobster clasp and um, this, this is really really pretty and it's a long necklace look at that this looks like a, um, an amber like thing and um, yeah this was eight dollars yesterday I just bought it because you know it's not every day that you come across something be as beautiful as this and the beads fell out not fell out it, one of the chains needed um, tightening so um, it's really really nice so uh, I'm I would um, I think these are just for for yeah for, I think this could be acrylic or something um, I'm not sure if this is real amber but it's really really nice I didn't see anything that's similar to this online so look at that it's really really pretty and uh, I didn't realize how pretty it was until you know I I wore this I mean I mean I tried them on yesterday as soon as I got them here and it was like just so pretty guys look at that love it love it so there you go okay bye